Casey Neistat today. This will be the first day of the NAM vlog. I'm actually not going to anything today. I'm just flying into LA. And then tomorrow the real festivities will begin. It says jet blue on it. Alright. I don't know what, who gets inspired by Disneyland. Who gets inspired by like a laughing dog named Goofy when they're 45 years old. I came to LA to escape the shitty weather, but it's raining. Hey guys, we're here at NAM. <laughs> I've defended you on Reddit oh, yeah. many times. Because everybody <laughs> thinks you're an asshole. Oh. I'm like, no, he's just honest. I can't even imagine what E3 is like. It's Thundercat Space. He looks so relaxed playing it. I would never be so relaxed. It'd be constantly like, do I know what I'm doing? Do I know what I'm doing? Uh, friendless, excited, just have a life. What? <laughs> Booth right now. So this is the spearfish from Rick Two, right. and uh, we're plugged into all this kind of stuff right here. find the hotel that's like next to the convention center and that's where you uh, poop. Second, third floor, like far away from everything. It's not interesting, no one wants to go there. It's like one or two people in the bathroom tops. <laughs> B E A D G C F. It's fun, Onion. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Are you playing Favorite part about 
about that was not just the awesome bass and guitar playing, which was unreal, but the fact that they, they had their names monogrammed on themselves. I thought that was not only really baller, but also very smart. So if people ask like, oh, who is that? Oh, it's Mono Neon and Eric Gales. You don't even need a real drummer. It's fantastic. So I'm editing the NAM vlog here, and I thought I would share a few more of my experiences because, uh, you know, it was a really awesome couple of days. I met a lot of great people. I'm really excited to share my Jeff Berlin interview with everybody because he has some really awesome ideas about music education that might be somewhat contrarian. The thing that I kind of want to make known is the fact that it is a trade show, and I kind of had to, like, remind myself this as I was walking around seeing, like, everything going on. It's a trade show. You know, you have hundreds and hundreds of companies from every aspect of the music business there. MIDI itself has a booth here at NAMM. And what they're trying to do is get connected with buyers or get connected with people who might help sell their stuff. Now here's the thing, in the vlog I only showed video of me playing basses where the companies were made up of really cool people that you know generally were like, oh hey you do this, that's awesome. Let me show you what this bass is all about. Thanks, let's talk later or whatever. And you know, had very, very positive experiences with those companies. Other companies, not as much. And you know, this has been my first time out to LA and since being here just a couple days, I've been acutely aware of a very different style of social interaction out here from which I'm accustomed. Uh, it's much more based on status or like who you might know or who you represent or what you can do for a person and basically the way that a person might treat you radically changes depending on how they see you in that light. And that's very not the case in New York City. In New York City there's just a general baseline of aggressive detachment, which I find actually kind of refreshing because it does not matter who you are, people will treat you the same no matter what. Something that I talk about on this channel a lot of the time is just in general don't be a dick. Treat a human as if they are the most important human being in the world because that pays dividends to your own experience in the music industry and with other people around you. Uh, and uh, yeah, the LA thing, man. It would take me a while to get used to that if I moved out here. Uh, I'm not saying that it's bad, but it is definitely different from what I'm used to. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this gig vlog. Sorry for that little bit of a downturn towards the end, but I want to thank all of my patrons, these guys down below, for their continued support. It's to them that I'm able to continually release these videos and vlogs and lessons week after week. Uh, so thank you very much. I'm trying to tell the story of how I got a burger, or got a pulled pork sandwich, and then ate it. It's called visual storytelling, very important for all kinds of vlogs. I'm now eating this. If you want to see more of me eat things, check out my channel called Adam Neely Eats Things. It's from my college days. It's what I ate things on camera. I think you'll dig it. pay for this. Workman's comp. Workman's comp. <laughs> I wonder if YouTube pays Workman's comp. It almost feels wrong not to kiss. 